Hello, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic and an intriguing puzzle today by Spell Daddy. We'll have a look at that in a moment. It's basically an XV puzzle with some killer elements. Um, yeah, and a lot of focus on the number 15. So do check out our Domino Sudoku because that is very like this style of puzzle. There's X's and V's, crop key dots, and occasionally mixtures with other types. It's well worth a look. So we highly recommend it. Um, and it's available if you go to the apps link, as is Gas Sudoku, uh, genuinely approachable Sudoku, which is a really good introductory tool to all of our puzzle types, or many, many of our puzzle types. 30 puzzles already available there, 10 more every month until it gets to 60. In the Domino Sudoku, like the previous apps, we'll get up to 100 puzzles in due course and by some top constructors as well. Uh, all good stuff. Do check it out. And on Patreon, you've got lots of other content, including you know, the labors of Hercules Hunt, etc. And of course, um, you know, there's so much going on around the channel all the time. Uh, the Kickstarter and so on, streaming, crosswords. Honestly, we do try and keep you full of content. That is very much our plan. Um, and this puzzle is by Spell Daddy, who has featured on the channel before. But this one is very interesting. There's a lot of 15 boxes in it. The title is X plus V equals 15, which is an undeniable truth and a bit of a, a knowledge bomb from Roman times. And normal Sudoku rules apply. Cages show their sums, and lots of those sums are 15, but not all of them. Digits may not repeat within a cage. And two digits separated by an X, sum to 10. Two digits separated by a V, sum to 5. Not all Xs or Vs are necessarily given. Give it a try on the first link under the video. I am going to start it now. Let's get cracking. Okay, so well, there are a few things to note. We've got, this is the most useful cage in two ways, I think. Because an 11 cage in four cells, I mean, it's easy maybe to tell that a six cage is one plus two plus three, the minimum Sudoku digits. But an 11 cage, if you use those three digits, the only way you can add something on to get to 11 is by adding a five. And one, two, three, five is the only combination that gives 11. And you kind of know that because if you try and add one more to one of the digits in one, two, three, five, pretty much the only one you can do without duplication is add three plus one to make four. But then you have to take one off the five. I don't know if that's an explanation that's of any use to you. Anyway, this is one, two, three, five. Now, which of those can go on the V? Well, there's no four, so we can't use one. Five can't be on a V. It's a two, three pair. We've got to start. We've got a 1, 5 looking at that V, which has to be 2, 3. Those are looking at that cell, as are this 2, 3 pair. So this has to be a 1, 4 pair, as it can't be a 2, 3. This one also has a 2, 3 looking at it. And now that's four Vs in the grid, and we've identified which types of pair are on them all. Um, possibly an even more useful place to start. Oh, there's loads, actually. Okay. There's extra Vs in this puzzle that aren't shown. Look at this cage, 15 in the cage, 10 in those cells, 15 minus 10. Let's use the equation Spell Daddy has given us in the title. X plus V equals 15, so that's a V. And it's not one, four, it's two, three. We get another one, no, this is an X. Ah, that's nice. <laughs> See, let's color the Vs and the, the Vs blue. I'm gonna just do this for fun. Let's color the X's orange. Every X pair, I'm gonna color orange. This is slightly different from how I would normally use coloring in these puzzles, but let's just do that. Those are the marked X pairs, but we've got an unmarked one in this cage, because again, X plus V equals 15, and up here. So now I've got four double cell dominoes that are all X's. Four times 10 is 40. And 45, why 45? Because that is the secret total of every row, box, and indeed column in a Sudoku. So 45 is the total of column two. We know there's 40 in these orange digits, and we can then place our first digit, which is a five or V, right there. 
So that makes one five. That can't be a one. Now this cage has actually been for some time the most interesting cage in the puzzle and I haven't looked at it. Well, I have looked at it. I haven't used it. This has to contain one, two, three, four, five, the minimum Sudoku digits, but we can now start reducing those possibilities. So we've got this one, four pair. So they come out of here. Here, we've got one, two, three looking down on it in this column. In fact, we've got a two, three pair. So that's a one, and this isn't any of those digits. Um, I thought maybe I was going to be finishing off this cage, but I'm not. Now, have we got any other hidden X's and V's? Oh, I tell you what we've got here. We've got three digits that add to 15, but can't use a one, two, or a three. They must be the next minimum digits, five, four, and six. So that means this isn't a five, and this isn't a five or a four. So we are narrowing this cage down gradually, um, but not quite finished. This 15 can't include a one or a four. Four, not as helpful, I don't think. The other digits in this column must be seven, eight, and nine. And that must be one, two, or three accordingly. Ah, and we've got these two, three pairs up columns four and five. So two of these must be two and three. Oh, that's... No, I was going to say, where does the last low digit go in this box? And then suggest it was here, but that's not necessarily true. If that's a five, these are all low digits. And in fact, those would be the four low digits in box eight. These 15 cages are, these 15 cages are made up of either six, nine or seven, eight. And actually, these must be different different combinations, because whatever pair that is, say that was a 7-8 pair, they're both looking at that cell, so that couldn't be 7 or 8, and would have to be 6 or 9, along with its partner. Um, right, what's this X? It can't use 1 or 2 or 3, because they are forming a pair. Right, it's a 4-6 pair. That makes this a 5. That takes five out of these cells in the cage. Now we've got a two, three pair. We can write in one and four. That's a one. This is going to get us going a bit, isn't it? Um, that can't be a one, so that's not a nine. Now we've got a two, three pair. Five must be right there. I was going to say in one of those two cells. These are from six, seven, eight, nine going to get a five somewhere here. Maybe that doesn't do... Oh, the four six pair is looking at this cell, which can't have a six. Ah, this is seven or eight now. So this can't be a seven eight pair or it would break that cell. So this must be six and nine. Right. Now this can't be six or nine. So that can't be six or nine. These two are six and nine instead. That has to be six or nine. The four in the column, I could have done that a while ago. I've only just seen that through what else I was doing. Nine, six, two, three, four, one. So, yeah, that's interesting. Remember all these orange dominoes that add up to ten? Obviously, they can't have a five in. So the five in the bottom row goes there. This is seven or eight going with a partner two or three. Up here... Yes, we've got one and four, so this can't be a one, nine, or four, six pair. Again, it's two or three, which would have to go there, going with a seven or eight above it. The two, three there is why that has to be two or three. Now, this group of cells is a one, four, six, nine group. This can't be one, and that can't be four, so I'm taking out the possibilities relevant to that. Four, one, five, two, three in this... Ah, in this box we have a six, seven, eight, nine quadruple because we've marked one, two, three, four, and five. And that gives us a beautiful six, seven, eight, nine quadruple there. Six must be in one of those two cells, but the beauty of that six, seven, eight, nine quadruple is it fixes this cell as a one. And that's on an X that's actually marked. This is now a four, six pair. 
Uh, that nine prevents nine here. The only nine in column seven available is here. One of these two is a nine. Don't know which one yet. Um, what else have we got going on? I mean, it's lovely the way that this is gradually unfolding. This, we've known for ages it can't have a one and four in, and I don't think it's finishing yet. Uh, that can't be nine, so there's a nine in one of those two. This is seven or eight in this column, and that forms a pair in the box. That's two or three. We can place four in the box. Maybe I could have done that before. That four looks across here. Six and four are done. That looks across here. Six and four are done. I think I said that before. Um, that six looks back here, and we get nine, six, and nine at the top. That nine, pow, into the middle box. That forces six in the middle box. This can't be nine over this side. And so that is, and it's just continuing to give delight after delight. Two, three pair in row four there. We've got a two, three pair done in the next row already. So the other cells are from six, seven, and eight. Now, is that going to tell us what's going on in this 15 cage? I doubt it. The minimum of those is 8. The maximum is 11. So this is somewhere between a 4 and a 7. It can't actually be a 4, so it's 5, 6, or 7. But that's enough variety to not be solvable immediately. That can't be a 5, so the 5 is in the corner. Maintaining its religious beliefs. Um, we've got a 178 triple there, 4, 6, 9, 2, 3. That's a 7, 8 pair because that 7, 8 pair needs to go somewhere in this box. So that's a 1, 5 pair. This can't be a 7 because of the 7, 8 pair we've put up there. Right, now maybe this 15 cage. I have a feeling it is going to be the last key to the puzzle. Just before I do that, these are from 1, 2, 3 in this row, which actually gives us a 1, 2, 3 group in the box. So these are from 7, 8 and 9, which is a triple in this row, which gives us this. Oh, that 9 would have given me that happily. I just wasn't accepting that gift. 1, 5, 4, 2, 3. These are from 7, 8, 9 as well. I'm just filling them in for a form of completeness. Oh no, that's a really interesting form of completeness. Right, if I was to put a 6 here, Oh, no. No, ignore me. I'm talking nonsense. Absolute bobbins as usual. 7, 8, 1, 9, 5 is in one of those two cells. OK, come on, look at this seriously now. If that was a 6, it wouldn't work because that would be a 5 and we'd need a 4 here, which we can't have. So this is 7 or 8. That's a pair in the row. So now I'm looking outside the box. I'm getting a six here. Uh, now we need a six in one of these two cells. Didn't I say I needed a five in one of those two cells? Yes, that's a five, six pair. So let's keep looking outside this cage. Two, three, four. One of those is four. That's a triple. And that's look, That's telling me where the one has to go in column one. Again, I could have found that a more normal way, but I didn't. Okay, come on, 15 cage, spill your secrets. The minimum value here is 527, that's 14. So one of these digits is one more than the minimum, only one of them. I don't know, I think that's still difficult. So I'm hoping to find the solution to the puzzle somewhere else, frankly. Uh, and maybe colouring? Now, I'm, there's something obvious is going on and I'm not spotting it. OK, let, OK, let's do colouring. Let's get rid of all the orange and blue nonsense, because that was just to guide us through earlier on. Now, I'm going to colour these green. No, don't do them both the same colour, because when we get to the end, right, green and purple go together and make 10. Now, green versus orange in twos and threes. Let's see how far we can colour them. Green, orange, it's going very well so far. Green, orange, green, orange, 
orange, green, good grief, we've got a lot of twos and threes marked, green, orange, just wondering if I'm getting a sense of how this puzzle is going to unwind. Ah, oh, no, I'll tell you what, we know where the last green is. It's here, and that reveals where four goes. Isn't that brilliant? That's the only place the last green can go. We've got all the oranges and greens marked, and because that is a green, it is not four. So the four in the box goes here. That's going to sort out the six four pair. That's going to sort out the six five pair. And now that six does the whole puzzle because that in this box, in this cage, I mean, has to go with a two and a seven to make our XV or 15. They're the minimum. Yeah, there we go. So we suddenly know that, sorry, I'm just tidying up a few pencil marks. We suddenly know that green is two. So by the magic of Sven, can I not highlight all the greens? There we go. Make them all two. I know that orange must be three. Um, and then we can go eight, seven. If you like Sven's software. Look, I get an eight here. Maybe I need to color all these uh, as was my original plan. Let's color all the sevens and eights and just see if we can go all, all the way with that. That's yellow. That's purple. That's yellow. Oh, maybe they... Mm. Okay, well, what we know down here is that purple is 8, so I might as well do that because of the X. Yellow is 7. Okay. Oh, look, I've got this cage, haven't I? I had a f an X here. I shouldn't have taken out the markings. That would have been quicker. Anyway, it's all done. We're just finishing off now. Lovely puzzle. Very clever idea. Very good use of X versus V and... A very neat solution. Not too difficult, just the sort of puzzle we like on an evening in Cracking the Cryptic. And, well, let's get rid of the colours. Thank you very much to Spell Daddy for creating that and sending it along. That was well worth a go. Thanks, as always, for watching us on the channel, and we really hope to see you again in the morning. Bye for now.